What's going on guys? In this video, we are converting my truck to a dually. guys we are on the way to get a bed for the Dodge Ram as you can tell right now we're bedless driving around but uh yeah we're on the way I'm gonna get a dually dually bed which means I gotta get some dually wheels but uh it'll be nice I have my you know as you know mine is a single rear wheel but uh dually will look really nice on mine so yeah we'll see now uh how the condition is on this dually bed and yeah alrighty guys so we made it back look at this dually bed brother now I need to get the adapters I gotta get some dually wheels oh man she's gonna look good oh buddy 37s fit nice, but I gotta get some dually wheels. The guy gave me three. I need three more. I need to get adapters in the front and the adapters in the rear to widen that axle. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and snug her up now with all the bolts that she needs and start uh, searching on Facebook again for more parts. But she's looking good already. Alrighty guys, today's another day. So as you can see, here's the dually bed. Looks good, still got the single rear wheels and front. But uh, I just got this in the mail yesterday. Got the gooseneck hitch, BMW. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. Alrighty guys, we are on the way to get some wheels for the dually. Dually's loaded up with a couple of tools. Gotta go get it off of a Cummins uh, part truck over here down in Naples, so I'm on the way. This thing is cruising 70, about uh, 19, 2000 RPM. Not too bad. Alrighty, boys, we just made it back from a long trip. We had to go all the way down to Naples, it's about an hour and a half drive, almost by Marco Island, but we got a set of wheels and some front adapters. So, as you know, on this truck the front axle is the same as the dually it just uses those adapters so you can adapt the dually wheels on them so here they are got them for a very good deal with all these tires so i'm excited all right boys just a little recap yesterday i put the adapters for the front i put the dually wheels in the front as you can see they fit pretty nice now i still haven't done the rear I'm still waiting for some parts but i just went to the tire shop and got these bad boys mounted on the steelies so now i'm gonna go ahead and put those in the front hopefully they don't rub or anything those are 37 12 and a half 17 same as the other ones those were the ones that were in the front so i'm gonna go ahead swap this one out for the 37 and see if it fits as you can tell with the old setup it was hitting the control arms and i believe the sway bar yep right there but uh yeah let's do it oh man look at that bad boy right there 37 inch tire no lift <laughs> i'm gonna see if she rubs if not i'm gonna start cutting because i like the stock lift no lift but the front is pretty much done i'm probably gonna get some new center caps those were a little bit messed up but now the front looks like a dually 
Now I just have to wait for the adapter for the rear so I can mount the rest of the tires. And I do gotta get a set of tires for the rear. And that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive her around, see if she rubs. And yeah, we'll look at her. Man, she looks good. Alrighty guys, today is another day. So pretty much I'm doing the rear now. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a two inch spacer right on the hub put the one of the this is a stock one put the inside wheel and see if it clears with the leaf spring because since these are heavier wider tires i want to make sure they clear the leaf spring and then i'm also going to put a spacer between the duals so since they're going to go right next to each other and they're wider tires i don't want them touching each other so got a two inch spacer for that as well so they can have the proper clearance Alrighty, ladies and gents, here's the 237s mounted, it's on the floor, and she's got proper clearance, got the 2 inch between the duals, the 2 inch inside the axle, this is the clearance on it, I believe it should be more than enough on what it needs, but there she is, man she looks so good. Look at her. Thing is nice and wide, brother. <whistles> Hell yeah. All right, guys, we just got back from the tire shop. Got all the tires mounted finally. And now we are ready to put them on the truck. See, those are the stock ones. It's a dually tire, just the stock ones with the stock tires. The back one has the one inside already. So I'm gonna go ahead put it all together all right guys here she is with the dually tires brother waiting for some uh, steel hubcaps they sell for these uh, they go on the stock rims but she looking good oh yeah big girl now Boy got some new tires. 33 BKT brother. Boy got back from Spain. Ready to mount his new tires on the Polaris 570. All right, we're here in the garage. We're gonna put these 33s on this bad boy right here. We'll see if it fits. We got our boy Giovanni with the 33s. Let's see this thing. Can't even turn, but. That's just for now. Let's see. Damn boy. Not rubbing. I say. Alrighty guys, so we finally put the dually wheels and the 37s back on the trunk. We had to put uh, some adapters, as I said in the videos before. We put the stock uh, dually adapters in the front so we can put the dually wheels. Again, we went with the 37s and everything fits well it does rub a little bit at full lock but it's all good and in the back we put two sets of spacers so we needed one on the inside and one between the duals uh so yeah she turned out pretty good we put dually wheels these are actually stainless steel hubcaps we just put them on and it looks very good at least compared to how it was before uh but yeah so all right, guys, make sure to go ahead, like, subscribe. Let me know what else you guys want to see on the channel. And uh, that's about it. So see you at the next time.